So as you recent back with another video of Kazia V5 and in this video I will show you how to make a plane using generative shape design. So this is the continuation video series of the GSD and in this video I will show you how to assemble all the 3D views like the front, the side and the top using stickers or photo studio in this case. So let's get started. So first things first, so as I showed in the previous video that we have used painting gallery or we went to mm -hmm. sketch tracer, uh, we went to shape and then we used various feature in order to get just a sec, we went to sketch tracer. And then we used additive immersive sketch in order to make the three paintings. But in this one, I will show you how to use Photo Studio to do the same thing. So I'm just going to hide this painting gallery. Right click hide. I'm going to minimize this as well. So now what I'm going to do is I will be using Photo Studio. As you can see, <clears throat> we have under infrastructure, we have Photo Studio. You can click on it. And it will open up with one of the feature called sticker right here, apply sticker. So this is going to be kind of the same concept that we will try to figure out where do we need to align the view. So first things first, so let's say if I start with the front one. So this is the front view. Alright. And now if I try to click add sketch or it's going to be the sticker, apply sticker. So it's asking me which element do I want to select. So for that, what I need to do is I need to create a sketch right here. So I can go to part design for the same. I can go to part design, create a sketch. Just make sure about when you are trying to create a sketch. It should start from the origin should start from it should start from the origin. The rectangle should start from the origin. And you can keep as much as you want. I'm going to just dimension the one axis as let's say 700. I'm just going to double click on it. Go for 700. And even if I want to do this, I may. It's not that important, but let's say 400 to be fine. So there we go. So we have one view. Similarly, I can have the second one as well, which is going to be the top view. The top plane. I'm going to sketch another thing right here, somewhat around the same distance and same length. So one I kept to, kept it to be around 400. The other one is around 700. I'm going to keep this around. So this is going to be around 700, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> this is around 400. Let's see. Okay. Well, this can be a little bit longer. I'm just going to keep it to be 700 as well. All right. Or I mean, it's not that important for now. We can keep whatever the distance that we want to, and later on adjust accordingly. And the similar one goes on the side plane as well, right here. Once right here, there we go. Something similar to this. And we are going to give dimension similarly. Well, to be honest, you don't need to give dimension, but this is just a good practice in order to do so. So that you can actually have more of a sense that what exactly you want it to be. I exit out and then you have three different planes with three different sketches. So that's two, three, and four that you can use. So now what you have to do is you need to go to generative shape design because that is the main feature that we need to use. Once you go that, you can see that we will use fill feature. What we are trying to do is we are trying to fill these services because for the sticker, as you saw that we would need an element that is going to be filled. We cannot just use the sketch itself 
in order to bring the sticker on it. So it's kind of a surface that we would require on which we can put the sticker on. So it's like it's kind of a wall on which we are trying to import that picture on. So we need to fill all three of these. So I'm just going to use fill feature, which is right here. I'm going to double click on it so that I don't need to select individually. I'm just going to click OK every time. And I will have three different surfaces right here. So there we go. So I have three surfaces that I would need. And now, now I can go back to Photo Studio and bring this out. Now I can go to go back to Photo Studio, click on the front plane. So start with the front view, click on apply sticker. So now I can actually select the sketch. So now it's showing me that one element is selected, which is the front plane. And now I can also choose the picture that I would like to import, which is the same one as A380 schematic. So as you can see right now, we got close to what we were looking for at first place. And now we can zoom in by this as well, or we can simply, you know, we can also use different ways around. So we can see that we need this view, but inverted. So we can flip and try to see, yeah, once I click on no flip V, it automatically line in the right way. So now I want to increase it, but at the same time, I want it to be positioned in the right form as well. So I'm going to position V, uh, position U, I'm trying to position it accordingly so that I have a full fledged half view of what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position V somewhere in the middle for now. And I'm going to maximize this sketch. So in that sense, I will have a big picture of what I actually want. And it's going to be positioned somewhere close to the origin, like always. And there we go. Yes, I can do this as well, or I can simply increase it as I go initially and then try to position it accordingly. Right? So, two different ways of doing the same thing as I showed you in the previous video as well. So, that's slightly too big. I can just reduce the dimension. So you can see that it's close enough now. If I move it slightly here, increase the size slightly more. This thing should work. Slightly more. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, that's fine. If you want to make it Perfectly aligned, you can do the same things again and again. Try to toggle between, click OK. So there, that's how you, you got the front view. And similarly, you can do the same thing for the side views as well. You can try to click on it, click on sticker, because it's already filled screen. Then you can bring the entire thing again, double click on it, and then you can show selection is going to be this one. Then you can use the side view, which is right here, this one, and try to toggle it first, try to make it fit properly, try to view it, that okay, where it should be aligned properly, try to match the size of it, and then try to position it accordingly, both along the V and the U. So some somewhat around here, it looks close enough, if I want to, I can drag it to be slightly smaller and then do the same thing, position it properly with respect to the origin, coming here, bringing it slightly down, close, slightly closer, and something like that, right? Just to get a, get a view, a proper view of it. If the scale isn't orienting properly, then you can slightly increase the size, do the same thing, position it accordingly. 
right? So more or less, this is the way you can actually find it and you can make it work. And this is relatively one of the easiest way. If this is not easy for you, then you can always look back at the video that I presented initially, the previous video in which I showed you how to use a Mercy sketch in order to make it. So let's say this, if you don't like this way of making the 3D views, you can simply ignore this for now. If you want to, you can always use all these sketches. So let's say if I want, if I don't want to use all these three, I can always activate this one, which I did in the previous video. As you can see on the screen as well, that you can just focus and try to find out how to bring all the 3D views, either with immersive sketch or using Photo Studio. So in this video, I showed you what exactly the ways are. So that's pretty much it for this video. So now you got an understanding of how both the views work and how the, both the sketches and the stick, uh, stickers actually work. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.